basic arts collected. Today what we're going to be looking at is a bit of voice leading. Now ultimately voice leading is pretty much remaining, keeping as many notes common between my chords as possible. This can be achieved by using inversions of chords or even just going for the chord tones itself. Now as you can see here what I've done is I've linked as many of my common tones between my chord progression as possible, you know, like voices the F sharp remaining throughout the entire progression. I'm going to try and keep the F sharp right where it is. I'm not going to move it around an octave or whatever. I'm going to keep it right where it is. So let's take a look to what it sounds like. Alright, so let's take a look at what that progression would sound like. For instance, let's start with the B minor to the G major 7. What I've got is my B minor straight up to my G major 7. As you can see, those three tones remain right there. The only thing that's actually moving is my root note. And that gives me this pretty little sound. Another thing we can take a look at is now I'm going to my E major. This idea was actually taking those three notes and moving my single tone up to there. Pretty little sound. What I went for however was the major third. Just to give it a nice little sound and then going to my A. Again, those two tones stayed exactly where they were. I only moved my major third from my E up one tone to get my A. Cool. So let's take a listen to the progression. In contrast to what it would have sounded like if I didn't voice lead it. leading. Pretty little sound. Cool. Thanks guys for checking it out. This is Nord here from Music Arts Collective.